win, you lose. Um, you have to learn how to lose, and then you also have to learn how to be humble when you win. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. Look at martial arts as uh, as an activity that any you know anybody can do, mm -hmm. um, and it benefits everybody that does. Do it whether they do it for a short period of time or a long period of time. Uh, I've been actively involved in martial arts, uh, gosh, uh, pretty much my whole adult life. I started, uh, you know, I had martial arts training when I was a young man in the army, and then I'm, uh, I, after I got out of the army, well, life got in the way, and and I didn't pursue it. But uh, when my uh, son Jake was uh, was very young, and the Karate Kid movies. Uh, were the hit, you know, uh, he was out in his backyard practicing what he saw, him, you know, uh, Ralph Macchio doing, and uh, and uh, th we decided that maybe we should take him and let him, you know, benefit from doing it, you know, in a in a structured manner, and so we took him to uh, Mr. Lex's studio, and I thought, well, if I'm, should I sit there and watch or should I participate too, and so my decision was to participate. It took. Uh, about four years for me to get my black belt and for uh, my son Jake to get his black belt. Uh, Jake also uh, was suffered from dyslexia and he had a terrible time with left and right and and getting his words mixed up when he spelled them and things like that and uh, and this this was this helped him immensely with it and uh, we saw that that he benefited greatly from it. We've seen kids that have been you know hyperactive and ADD and uh, the parents have them on all kinds of medications and little by little we ask them to wean them off of that medication, get them into the structured atmosphere of the karate studio and uh, we have had such positive feedback from parents and doctors and teachers uh, about our martial arts program and how uh, uh, you know, kids report cards are starting to look better and you know, they accidentally say yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, or no, sir, no, ma'am, to their teacher because that's required, you know, in the karate school, and uh, and the teachers get a get a big kick out of that, you know. And we have students from four years old. Uh, the, we have had we had a man that was uh, seventy years old that actually started with his his granddaughter, and I can remember when we uh, when he did the first class. Uh, and I said, look, so everybody sit on the floor and, and to do our floor stretch. He looked at me and he said, I haven't sat on the floor in years. I don't think I can. And so what he ended up doing was backing himself up to the wall and lowering himself down the wall until he got down on the floor. We do two competitions uh, our, uh, each year. We do our spring tournament and we do our fall tournament. We usually do our uh, spring tournament the first, day, first Saturday in April. <laughs> But because of a couple of issues, we're uh, going to be doing it on April 20th, and then we have a, our second tournament of the year, the first Saturday of November. Having done this now for well over 20 years as a martial arts instructor, I have seen so many people that have started at a young age and have seen that transformation from shy and, you know, scared and not confident and then the growth to where they're a black belt in four or five years and the confidence and the self-esteem that they have built from the martial arts is, is incredible.